these are all melons over here and we're just starting to get some fruit to form oh looks like Japanese beetles look at that oh they're just covering here uh, time to get out the neem oil neem oil will get rid of them enjoy yourselves fellas you only have about 15 minutes before I douse ya. just to take a minute and show you how I mix this neem oil. How many of you watch The Rusted Garden? Gary Pilarczyk? I, I watch him a lot because he's a very good teacher. And I bought this particular neem oil from his seed shop. And I have um, one to two teaspoons per quart of neem oil and one to two teaspoons per quart of soap. So it's a one to one ratio for the neem oil to soap. This is one liter, 2.3 pints. There's two pints in a quart. So this is a quart, a little over a quart. But I kind of know that I want it to be just a little bit stronger than that just from my experience. So I've got this scoop. This is from my uh, collagen powder. And I know that this is two tablespoons for this whole scoop. And there are three teaspoons per tablespoon. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do one tablespoon. Okay, like that. And then I've got this almost full. And I'm going to pour that in there. Can you see how it all floats to the top? I'll bring it in closer. And this neem oil lasts a pretty long time. And he sells a really good quality. You see how that's all floating to the top? That is why you add in dishwashing liquid. Now this is my dishwashing liquid that I like to choose. This pure and clear. And you can see pure and clear, doesn't have any additives. So and we only need about a teaspoon. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Maybe a teaspoon and a half. And then shake it up. And what the soap does is it breaks up the oil and allows it to go throughout the whole container. So now I'm going to go outside and spray. So you want to pump this. Like that. So right now they only seem to be interested in this particular plant but I'm gonna spray the whole thing. They do not like it. And you wanna get the top and the bottom where they haven't quite started. The neem oil will not hurt your plants. Be careful not to step on. And I am going to spray all of my all of my melons and they will be gone. This works really well.
Now since these just showed up, I'm going to spray my peas. Because they like the peas too, these Japanese beetles. They like peas, they like pole beans, but they pretty much leave your bush beans alone. I don't have a problem with Japanese beetles on bush beans. So we'll get these sprayed really well. If you get it on your other plants, it's certainly not going to hurt them. So we'll get them from this side as well. Because those will be their next target. These peas. There we go. I wanted to show you what a little bit of cleanup can do. Here is the after. And if I can figure out how to do it, I'll put a side by side here. I can actually walk through here now. I tied up the huckleberries. You see the twine here? Tied up the tomatoes. More twine here. But it's pretty nice to actually be able to walk through here. Of course, the rhubarb is another story. This aisle as well is much better. Tomatoes on that side, melons on this side. Oh, and I wanted to show you this. This is just one hour or maybe two after spraying. There's only a couple of Japanese beetles left. All the other ones are gone. That's how fast this neem oil works. So now I can walk through here. There we go. In these two buckets, I had onions. these onions. I wanted to pull out these onions because they were looking pretty crowded and I have more. So I'm going to take these, put them in a shady spot and let them cure for a week. But they look pretty good considering these were onions that were grown from sets. And then a bad little harvest. This is my processing table. And I put them under here. There's plenty of ventilation in here. There are holes in between here. So I want to let them sit here and cure mm, for about a week. If it's going to rain, I will bring them in. But they should be pretty good right here. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Sharon's Home and Gardening Channel. Do me a favor, if you like what you saw here, please click on that subscribe button and then you can watch this garden start to really produce. I think it's going to be so much fun to watch it produce. So until next time, have a great day and happy gardening everybody. Bye bye.